Hello everyone and welcome to stampityourself.com. Thank you for joining me. Today's tutorial is using these gorgeous colours which are damper denim and peekaboo peach. have to say that really slowly so that I can get it out properly. Um, they turned out really well. The colours go really really well together. I would never have used an orange colour but this particular design came out beautiful. Okay, I think it's lovely anyway. I've been I've used um, the the flourishing thinlets. There we go, which is one four one four seven eight. And again, I've gone back to using the flourishing phases stamp set. I've used these because I just love them, and they come in a set and. I just love the flower and I think there's just so many possibilities to this set it's beautiful so in this today I have used this sentiment oops sorry got a bit of a shine on happening there bear with me with a moment I'll just get that out of okay try that okay I've used this sentiment here which is the zoom down there you go thank you so very much and I've used this gorgeous flower here which I have cut down and I'll show you how I've done that so um, it's always good to be able to have a few designs out of one stamp set that's for sure in this instance for the flower I have stamped using Island Indigo which is this one here now this oh sorry let me just get you into focus okay there we go I've done a lot of the prep work so that you don't have to do any of the prep work there we go I'll get you uh, do apologize for that guys um yes so i've used island indigo which goes really well with the dapper denim and the peak boo peach it doesn't really look all that different to the actual denim itself so i felt that it went really well so what i've already had gone ahead and done and i've already stamped that as an example for you so you need to do that and then what you need to do is you need to trim around the actual flower and you need to, as you can see there, I've done that, taken a little bit out of it, which is really nice. And I've done that three times. So you need to have three of them for this particular card. I've used the flourishing thin dies, which are these ones here. I've used the flower, which gives you this gorgeous little flower. Isn't it cute? Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll put it on here so you can see it. So it gives you that gorgeous little flower there. So I've used that little die there, and I've done, I've created two of those. I've made two of those little flowers. You can do as many as you like. And I've also used this one, which is like a cherry blossom, I think, in some ways. Either way, it's really cute. So that's the other thing that dies that comes in that kit, and you can use that as well. So I've done, I've made four of these, and two of the little um, flowers, and then three, two of the little flourishing, these ones, and then three of the big stamps which have been cut down. So first thing says, as I said, I've done a lot of it, so I don't have to go through all of that with you on the um sorry i've lost my words now um through the tutorial so that you can put it together yourself i might try a different design this design i really really loved um i had no problems with it but i did two different designs and they looked different um, um so i might do it i'll do this exactly the same but i'm going to actually change it around and you can make up your mind which one you want to use but of course if you just play around with it a bit i'm sure that you'll get a design that you'll like yourself so please feel free to muck around with it all right so what i'm going to do is just do my first layer i didn't pop this up with dimensionals i just used tombow because it gives me room to move and i didn't want too much dimension because i just didn't <laughs> So, so making sure we get it nice and straight on our peekaboo peach and even and that's the other reason I like Tombow as well if I don't get it straight I have an opportunity to try and 
straighten it. So we've just glued that onto the first layer, which is nice. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the embossing. And now I did use white embossing powder for the sentiment because I really liked it. Don't forget to use your embossing buddy. Very important because it will, you do leave oils on paper when you, you're mucking around and cutting and stuff like that. And what happens is, especially if you're using white on such a dark colour, it will grab and it will look a bit tacky. So don't forget to do that. Okay, I have got my versamark here and my sentiment, which is, as I suggested before, is the, oops, sorry, take it, that is, thank you. There we go, thank you so very much. I love this stamp, this um, set and the flourishes that go with it. And I have got a couple of other cards in mind. I think it's really important that you can, if you do invest in, in stamp sets, that you really can use it in lots of different ways. It's so nice to be able to use it more than once and, and have lots and lots of different varieties with it. So it's the Flourishing Phases stamp set and the Thinlet dies that come in a bundle. And then I've used the Dapper Denim and the Peekaboo Peach out of the uh, new in colours. Right, so now I am going to, oh, going a bit dark and out of focus there, that's not very good is it? Okay, I'm just going to straighten up my card while it's getting itself in focus, beautiful. And I will probably zoom in a little bit more on this one. Now I want to make sure I've got, I really do need to invest in a, um, what, do they, what do they call it, the, um, the stamper magic so that I can get my I can get my um, phrases straight and on on par with the way that I like them <laughs> okay so I've made I've used the Versa mark and I'm just popping it down now just as a guide nice and firmly and up we go that looks good And as I said, I have used white. Embossing powder. Let me just get that in camera for you so that you can see it's not hard. might just give that another coat you can see how that's come up and I like to actually do more than one just to cover all that so when you're embossing it's got this nice full bodied look about it okay see how that come up really nice so you need to make sure your your ink pad is nice and juicy and don't be afraid to give it a couple of coats just to be sure that you're covering it all because it does look that little bit fuller sometimes it, it, one coat is not quite enough but certainly a couple will come out gorgeous so that'll look nice just pour that back in there And I've disappeared. Oh, <laughs> not for long. Okay, so that's done. So again, I'm just going to make sure that I've actually got all of my um, excess off. Just giving it a tap. Just having a look around the actual card. It's the, the embossing itself, just to make sure there's nothing extra on there that I don't want. Because with the white, it will, when you emboss it, it will show up, especially on such a colour. So you could, I tried silver on this colour as well, and it didn't turn out anywhere near as nice as the white. So, um, so before, and I was hoping that it would actually, because I thought the silver would look really lovely. Ew, I hate that grittiness after I, and I always managed to get it everywhere. 
Okay. All right, so I'll just, um, I'm pretty happy with that. It doesn't look like there's anything excess there, so I will go ahead and quickly emboss this. And I am going off screen, but I will bring it in screen for you just to show you how to emboss. You'll see it change. I love watching it change. And don't be afraid to turn it over and, and keep the heat on the back because it still works the same. There we go. It just looks gorgeous. Embossing always gives it that little bit of more in your statement when you're actually giving a cup to somebody it just looks so nice okay oh, i'll have my other card under this here okay so oop, now that we've done that i'll move that out of the way we come to the placement of our design so obviously if, you, if, if the heat does muck around with a bit, just warp it back into shape. It's not hard to do. The fibres just get a bit warm. So basically we're, we're wanting our card to ultimately look like this. So, yeah, just stretch it a bit. It's fine. I like to work... Uh, with my other card underneath when I do my placements because that way I know what I'm doing in terms of whether or not I like the, the whole overall look. So in this instance I've popped a, one there, I've popped one about here and it, the other one that I did was over here. Now in doing that, as you can see, I then decorated with my flourishes and I've placed them where I thought I would like them. So that they actually have this gorgeous effect of flow. And I'm pretty sure that, I I'm, I'm not sure, I think I actually like this one better than the original one that I did. So there you go. Mucking around with it is definitely worth the effort. Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm liking it like that. Yes, I think I'll stick with this one. All right, so basically just leave everything where it is. And the first thing we'll do is just pop in the little flowers up with the dimensional. here I would say it's entirely up to you I like actually once I've got the colors of, of what I want to do I then do play around with designs quite a lot because the placement is really really important it does change the way your card looks so much it's incredible how one thing you can overdo it and then or you can underdo it it's just yeah really funny okay we've got the one in there this one I think was over here, so we've got a little bit of, oh, that's it. All right, so what I'll do is I just get a little piece of, um, I'll put this on with Tombow, and what I've done is I just put a little piece, a little dab, did I put, yes I did, a little dab of Tombow there, and then I'll grab my stylus, and with my stylus, 
I will put little dabs just on the areas that I want it to stick because you don't want it um, the glue all over your project because it won't look very nice. I did that a bit backwards, didn't I? Just on the edges there. You don't need a lot of glue. You just need enough to make it stay. So I'm sort of thinking it was kind of here. Don't forget to have your wipe. Because <laughs> I'm always getting it on my fingers. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then again, again the same with this, just a little bits on the edges where you need it to stick down. The thickest parts of your little thinglets would be good. Your dies, just so that um, you don't need much, but you don't want it to pop up either. And we've got this one going down here. There we go. And then we've got another one. It is a little bit of a, a fiddly one, I would say, but certainly it's worth it. So thank you for joining me with this one. Oh, don't want to lose you there. And welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm working really hard in coming up and being consistent and providing you with lots of new tutorials and techniques. Because at the end of the day, these techniques you can use for just about anything. It's not sort of like gospel that, you, you know, that you've got to use it for this particular design. You can use these designs for colors that you well, you can use it for anything really okay so it's looking like it's okay now we've got this one here and the reason that as you can see on the design that I have got the thank you there is because the busyness is up here in the card and the thank you gives it a bit of a balance so it's nice to have that um, balance on your card when you're designing it's nice to think of the balance you don't want it too busy but you want it to look just enough and it is a bit tricky sometimes I have to say sometimes I have to put it down and walk away and come back and I think oh, I'm never going to come up with anything and then all of a sudden something pops up so it's kind of good okay so this one we've got down here about there I'd say lovely look at that that's gorgeous it's so pretty if you wanted to I suppose you could put more on but I think it might be a bit too much because if you put more on it's going to be a bit of overkill or if you wanted to you could probably put something under there but no it's too much in my opinion anyway you don't want to overdo it it's a lovely card the way that it is so the last thing we do is pop on some dimensionals on the back because you do want the the, la the bottom piece to pop up but I certainly didn't want the other piece to pop up I hope I've covered it all I hope it's clear I hope I didn't ramble too much <laughs> so I do hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I do hope you'll give this one a go the colors are beautiful absolutely beautiful they go so well together and as I said it would not have been a color of my choice because orange it, it is not really a colour that I, I tend to like darker colours or unique kind of blends. But this colour with the dapper denim and the peekaboo pin, a pe pinch, <laughs> peekaboo, <laughs> yeah, it's a hard one to say. Okay, 
no, hang on, have I got that right? Let me turn this around that way and then this way just so that I've got it right for you to see. All right, and again, making sure you rely on use your grid paper if you need to to help you get it all in a straight line. Give it a good press down. And, oh, I forgot. I did use some don't mind, uh, some rhinestones. I did pop some rhinestones onto the centres of the flowers and because that always looks good. Rhinestones are always a good thing. Bling, as they say. Get a bling. And I think, yeah, let me see. Um, oh, one there. And I think we need one down here too. Just off the edge there to give it a little bit of let me see if you can see where I've put them. Um, where else? I think we could probably do with a little one over here. There you go. I think it's done. And there you have it. Beautiful card, isn't it? quite easy to do there's just a lot of um, preparation that you've got to do before you can actually put it all together but that's easily done sometimes at night time I'll sit down and I'll stamp and I'll cut them out so that I've got them to play with later on if I, that's what I sort of see it as so thank you for, as I said thank you very much for joining me um, welcome to all the new subscribers um, I'm really appreciating your feedback that means that people are liking what I'm doing um, I'm sure that somebody is really going to love this card that you give them. It's absolutely stunning. And, of course, you don't have to have the thank you. You can have happy birthday, whatever you like to, really. Um, so thank you for joining me, and I hope to speak to you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.